the line. The last five games, 130 free throw attempts by their opponents. They've got to play good defense without fouling and take care of the ball so that Kansas can't play ahead of the Kansas State defense. Over jumps for Kansas State. Dickinson for Kansas. And it ends up with Kansas State. This is Tyler Perry. And the Wildcats with it. This play should be loud last year in overtime. Kansas State able to pick up a win. Kick out Cam Carter. Because that is a big bucket for Kansas State. The Wildcats have gotten off to some very slow starts over the last four games, and they're 0-4 during that period. So making a bucket early has to make them feel a lot better. Colbert rejects Dickinson back the other way, and it's Perry. Perry the transfer from North Texas. Kansas State coming off four straight losses, including one Saturday at Oklahoma State. Well, that was a rough one. They trailed basically the whole game. Beat inside. Adams is fouled and won, and K.J. Adams will go to the line. Tyler Perry had to switch out. On to KJ Adams and Perry just 5'11. And there's no way trying to get around in front, but you can just throw over the top. There's not enough pressure on the ball to take away vision. Forget it. That's going to be a bucket and a foul. KJ Adams, a season ago, won most improved player in the conference. Can you win it two straight years? Because he continues to get better. Yeah, if you can win it, he's got a great opportunity. And over the last two games, he's averaging 13 points, close to seven assists. 11 of 12 from the field. He was great, I thought, against Houston. He had seven assists and 10 points against the Cougars. 3 3 here in the early going. Curry was looking for Colbert, finds it, kick out Carter. Cam Carter is the leading scorer for this Wildcats team, averaging 16 a game. Only had five points, two of 12 against Oklahoma, so him getting off to a quick start is a good sign. A travel and a turnover. Jerome Tank's second season as head coach at Kansas State. 19 years as Scott Drew's assistant at Baylor was part of that group that won the national title in 2021. Last year took him all the way to the Elite Eight. Yeah, Jerome Tang was a high school coach before Scott Drew hired him at Baylor. And he's done a terrific job here at Kansas State. That team last year, just a, a couple of buckets away from going to a Final Four. Paloma looking for some space. Shot clock is under 10. Perry with the bigger Adams on him. Now Dickinson pops out. D3. And fight for the loose ball. Out of bounds. It'll be Kansas State basketball. And Jarrell Colbert's done a good job protecting the rim on the defensive end. And he is, he goes hard to the offensive glass as well. Good win for Bill Self's group on Saturday at home. They carved up a really good Houston team. Inside Carter. Looks like that shot was blocked. And here's McCuller now. Her feet, and that's off the mark. One and done. He had to let that go quickly. Pretty good pressure in transition defense to get back and challenge that three from the corner. Perry with Perfy in his face. Dickinson tip. Paluma rebound. No, they wave it off. It'll go the other way. They called it on Colbert. Jarrell Colbert. Tony Padilla on the call. Ian Dickinson. And you ID'd it after we looked at the replay of the hook and hold. Well, it's interesting. A similar thing happened in the game with Duke and North Carolina. Up top, it looked like it would be a foul on Dickinson. But the action was going on underneath. Now watch Colbert underneath. Then he puts his arm and hooks. You know, and... You remember a few years ago, we had we had hook and hold calls and reviews every single game. But it seems like it's creeping back in a little bit. Dickinson gets the second. Kansas within two in the Jayhawks basketball. 
Just getting started here from Manhattan. John Chomby, Jay Billis, and Chris Putton. Kansas State is a solid defensive team. McCuller off the feed from Dickinson. Off the back window, or back iron, I should say, and then out of bounds. And it'll be Kansas State ball. The challenge for the Kansas State defense is this is an excellent cutting and passing team in Kansas. Kansas assists on 70% of their field goals, which is an absurd number. I mean, you don't hear that very often. But what Kansas will try to do is put the ball on the deck at times and force help. And they play off of it so well. Their, their system is designed to attack help. And they do it as well as any team in the country. That is number one in the country, by the way, in terms of assisting on made field goals at 70%. Harris, a little hesitation. Good pass. Adams to McCuller, who drills a three. A running offense in the middle of the floor reduces that help because you got to come from such a long way in order to get there on that Dewan Harris drive. But when he pitched it back to K.J. Adams, K.J. Adams is an excellent passer out of those situations. That and the short roll. He just finds people. Adams on defense here. And and Carter. And it's out Carter. of bounds. Kansas ball. Carter threw it off of Adams and it hit him. There's no help there. But rather than get it blocked, he pitches it back. And what a great pass by K.J. Adams to Kevin McCullough in that left corner. Getting better as a passer. He has 77 assists this year. He had 80 his first two years combined. And but a layup in that spot. Kansas leading at 9-6. That long curl out of that wide pin down is really difficult to guard. Kansas State couldn't figure it out there. That's an easy bucket for Kansas. J.J. Ains penetrates inside and the throw down for McNair. Will McNair started his career at New Mexico State. He actually played on that team that beat UConn when Teddy Allen scored 37 before he transferred to Mississippi State. Harris. They get Kaluma going a little bit. We have Dewan Harris on him on the switch. Ames knocks down a triple, and Kansas State with the lead. Jada Ames is a, a lefty. That was his 10th three on the season. Only shoots 23% from three, but took that with a lot of confidence. Murphy lost the handle, got it back. Harris. Murphy the rebound had it stripped away now Dickinson his shot wouldn't fall Kansas getting multiple looks at it on the offensive end Spotted that knocked away Adams comes up with it now McCuller And Harris flips it in and th Those are the turnover problems that Kansas State has been battling good result <laughs> McNair up ahead of the pack in the jump that's the way to get it back quickly. Get scored upon, then turn around and get a quick one in transition. Great rim run by Will McNair. Adams for the free throw line. Got it. If he hits that shot, how do you stop him? That's the short roll after that middle ball screen. So difficult to deal with, and there aren't that many guys that can make that catch and make a play. Oftentimes, you try to roll to the rim. McNair working on Dickinson. Shot clock under 10. Perry. McNair will try. And that shot short. Furphy has it. Everything was on the left side of the floor. For Kansas State, they never reversed the ball, never put any stress on the Kansas defense. The color to step back short on that shot. Carter on the goal. Carter stepped through. Scoop wouldn't fall. Oh, what a great play by Harris to bother him. Loose ball. Kansas State comes up with it. Aims inside. Adams a rebound. Back and forth we go. Dickinson. Puts it in. Well, both Harris and 
McCuller in transition defense. Really doing a good job of distracting and bothering the ball handlers. They try to get to the basket. And Kansas State 0 of 2 there. Kaluma picks up his dribble, swings it to Ames. Clock is at five. Perry looking for something. Got to get something off here. And that rebound tipped. Eventually, Perfy has it. And now Adams brings it up. Kansas, we talk about their passing, their offense, but this is a good defensive team as well. Cut to the basket. Nice find. Dickinson to McCullough. Open side. A dribble at scenario. And Kevin McCullough. Just goes back door. Beautiful pass by Hunter Dickinson with that left hand. He's a lefty, but he's an excellent passer. Kansas leading it by four. You notice I didn't say excellent passer for a big guy. I did. I hate that. Oh. inside. Puts it in. No call. As he absorbed the contact. A strong take by Ames. Over six minutes without a stoppage. Lames well, just asked for a sub. There's got to be a whistle for a sub. Dickinson hangs and hits. Usually, Boog, you can pace yourself in four-minute increments. But these guys have been going full blast for, what, six or seven minutes. Perry has it. Kansas State down by four. And a travel. Timeout on the court. Kansas on the road leading it by four. The SBS. Bill Self in that last time out telling his team, listen, we got to slow down. We got them right where they want them. But listen, we got to be able to relax. Drive to the rim, get yourself a ball, get yourself a rebound. But to the point of, like, these guys have been playing so much without a whistle. Hunter Dickinson was sitting not with his team and on the bench trying to catch his breath after that last bit. Parker Brown kicks out to McCuller. McCuller with the shot clock winding down. Harris got to get it off, puts it up. Shot would fall. A solid defense by Kansas State, but a really good point by Chris Button. I mean, you, know, you tell your team to go 100 miles an hour on defense, but you want to slow down a little bit on offense, give the, the defense a chance to make a mistake. Coloma knocks it down. We're looking at a one-point game. Arthur Coloma shoots about 38% from three. Transferred in from Creighton. And he's a really talented player. Good defender when he gets a rebound. He doesn't need to outlet it. He can just rip and run and start the Kansas State break. Harris swings it. Elmarco Jackson. Jackson jumper way off the mark. It's a terrible pass. He should have reversed it to K.J. Adams. And Dan Carter flips it off the glass and in. K-State with the lead. And when you take a bad shot, which El Marco Jackson just did, that's the first pass in your opponent's fast break. Now that was a challenge shot when it should have just been a reversal pass. Jackson goes baseline, puts it home off the glass. What a foul on Kansas. First foul of the game on Kansas. Break of the action here at Bramlage. Bill Self in that last time out telling his team, listen, we got to slow down. We got them right where they want them. But listen, we got to be able to relax. Drive to the rim. Get yourself a ball. Get yourself a rebound. But to the point of, like, these guys have been playing so much without a whistle. Hunter Dickinson was sitting not with his team and on the bench trying to catch his breath after that last bit. Parker Brown kicks out to McCullough. Color with the shot clock winding down. Harris got to get it off. Puts it up. Shot wouldn't fall. 
A solid defense by Kansas State, but a really good point by Chris Button. I mean, you, know, you tell your team to go 100 miles an hour on defense, but you want to slow down a little bit on offense, give the, the defense a chance to make a mistake. Paloma knocks it down. We're looking at a one-point game. Arthur Paloma shoots about 38% from three. Transferred in from Creighton, and he's a really talented player. Good defender when he gets a rebound. He doesn't need to outlet it. He can just rip and run and start the Kansas State break. Harris swings it. Marco Jackson. Jackson jumper way off the mark. It's a terrible pass. He should have reversed it to K.J. Adams. And Dan Carter flips it off the glass and in. K-State with the lead. Now when you take a bad shot, which Marco Jackson just did, that's the first pass in your opponent's fast break. Now that was a challenge shot when it should have just been a reversal pass. Jackson goes baseline, puts it home off the glass. On Kansas. First foul of the game on Kansas. Break of the action here at Bramlage. Awesome. But how about the passing in this game, Boo? Kansas has nine field goals and eight assists. But they don't have the best assist percentage in the game. Kansas State, eight field goals, eight assists. That's pretty good. Passing and dancing. Gasson misses the front end. Misses them both. And then Brown able to save it as that one went off the leg of Kaluma. It'll be Kansas basketball. A one two, one one, three quarter court pressure now for Kansas State. They can take a little time off the clock. They don't have to guard Kansas quite as long in the half court. They stay 0 for 4 from the line. Nick Timberlake here, the transfer from Towson. Attempted feed inside and... Kansas State able to deflect the chance to take the lead for the Wildcats. That whole play by Kansas was set up to reverse the ball and get it into Hunter Dickinson on a duck end, but just they haven't made good passes. Robert finds Gasson, he gets fouled and he'll go to the line. A really good cut by Gasson. Transferred in from Virginia Tech. You see him right there as soon as Furphy leaves. Hunter Dickinson couldn't recover to him after helping on the ball. J.J. Adams checks back in, as does Kevin McCuller. So far, Kansas State's defense has been on point. I know Bill Self probably isn't happy with some of the passes that have been made into the post. But the Wildcats have defended very well. Big offensive rebound, Gasson, Colbert, and now Kaluma. Colbert, the offensive rebound, and he gets fouled. And that foul is on And that'll be his second, and immediately Dickinson will check back in. Both Gasson and Colbert have done a really good job on the offensive glass. Gasson just keeping that ball alive. Colbert snatching it with that right hand, getting the foul on K.J. Adams. But even if you can't grab it, like Gasson, just keep it alive. Well, Gasson's got to get under the basket. If Hunter Dickinson's going to help out on any sort of drag ball screen, he's got to get to the rim. Got clock winding down, Gasson. David Gasson gets that to fall, and K-State has the lead. Bramlage Coliseum here in Manhattan, the Sunflower Showdown. John Chomby, J. Billis, and Chris Budden, McCullough. Shot is short, out of bounds, K-State basketball.
McCullers saying he got hit. I thought he got away with the walk. They stay by two. Perry's been quiet in the first half, which is his norm. He scored 73% of his points in the second half. Amberlake pulls down the missed shot. And Kansas the other way. McCullough spins, hangs, couldn't hit. But a foul underneath as Dickinson absorbed the contact. And McCullough had... Tyler Perry on him at 5'11. Just spun around him. And because of help, there was nobody really to lay a body on Hunter Dickinson. And Dickinson, a really good offensive rebounder, gets about two and a half per game. Dickinson, for his size, a guy that doesn't go to the free throw line a ton. Coming off 20 points and eight rebounds in the win over Houston. Women's college basketball coming your way Thursday night, 6 Eastern, at number 12 and number 15. Notre Dame and Louisville is coming your way at 6 Eastern Thursday here on ESPN. That's a really good point you made on Hunter Dickinson in the free throw line. He only shoots about three free throws per game. It's about what he shot at Michigan. But when he anchors himself in the low post, you'd think he'd be fouled more. That's got to be a goal of his down the stretch. I mean, he's only made one of his last 15 threes. And he started out the season on fire. But I'm not sure that's all bad news. Because he can be dominant down in the low post. He's got such a great touch and great footwork. Good free throw shooter. He's 72% from the line. So you know Bill Self would like to see him get there more frequently. Kansas doing a pretty good job on ball screen action. That little step up screen. They just put two on the ball, and that's a lot for Tyler Perry to have to pass through or around. Dan Carter fires that three in and out. Dickinson to Furphy. You really have to be up to the level of the ball because Cam Carter's going to look to be aggressive. Adam speeds McCullough had it knocked away, and it'll be Kansas basketball. McCullough had Perry on him again. They threw over the top, and McCullough just brought the ball down enough for Perry to be able to knock it away. Johnny Furphy here in this first half has been held scoreless. As Dewan Harris will check in and Timberlake will grab a seat. Kansas gone almost four minutes without a field goal. Harris to inbound. Well, Dickinson has Ames on him. They need to look into him. Adams bullies his way to the basket. Couldn't convert. Now the other way, Jada Ames. There, Brad quickly went to the basket, and he got fouled. Well, what a nice move. It looked like it was just going to be a little handoff action around the top of the key. And McNair just faked it and kept it with that left-hand drive to the basket. Really smart play by Will McNair, Jr. So Dickinson picks up the foul. Adams and Dickinson both with two fouls. What a pretty low foul first half, especially by Kansas State. Kansas State's been fouling a lot. They've only got three. Perry lost the handle, but color. Murphy up ahead. That's what both Score have. the goal. I mean, those are the turnovers food that have really hurt Kansas State. Now, I, I wouldn't call that a forced turnover. It's just a mishandling of the ball. But that allows Kansas to get out and transition. You work so hard in the half court to limit the Jayhawks, and then you make a mistake like that, and they get a run out. Can't guard a run out. 
Five ties, seven lead changes in this one. McNair inside right hand, rounds it home. He always wants to get to that left shoulder. And he took his time in one-on-one -on -one coverage in the post against Parker Brown. That was a nice move. Harris thought about it. Adams with the smaller Carter on him. Harris a wide open look and buries that one. And when he gets those wide open looks, the last four games, he's only taken eight threes, but he's hit five of them. And he torched Kentucky early in the season. John Calipari decided they weren't going to guard him at all out in the perimeter. And he had a great game. Kaluba can hit. Brown the rebound. Harris shoots 46% from three. Lob up ahead. Adams got ahead of the pack, got great position. And another... Ill-advised shot, I'd call it, from Arthur Kaluma. That just set up the break for Kansas. Largest lead for him. They changed one of his fouls, gave it to McCullough. So he's only got one, does K.J. Adams. And Kansas has Hunter Dickinson wide open on reversals when he's ducking in. But they've made some poor passes. They clean that up. And I think Dickinson's going to have some easy baskets. A little floppy set right now for Day Day Ames. But Kansas has done a pretty good job on the defensive end. It's just they need to clean up a few things offensively. Good help by Parker Brown on that action up top and recover. That three short from Kaluma. And Kansas the other way leading it by five. Furphy with the basket for Johnny Furphy. So far in this one with just the two points. This is an important three-minute stretch for Kansas State. They can't let Kansas run away and hide here. McCuller. He was able to feed it to Brown, who lost the handle. That's a big play. Back the other way. Perry. Got it! Boy, the miscue by Kansas when Parker Brown had an easy bucket and couldn't handle the ball. Leads to transition and an open three for Tyler Perry. Not Kansas' best scoring lineup out on the floor now. Murphy, shot clock winding down, got to get it off. Perry into the paint, off the glass, and good! And we're tied! Oh, what a beautiful play by Tyler Perry. Got Kevin McCuller on his back, couldn't stop the ball. The 23 Texas Tech against number 13, Baylor. Six teams in this league ranked for the top 25. What did you think of Carolina over the weekend? I was really impressed with Carolina's defense. I mean, it's been a long time since, because their offense has always been so formidable, that the lead story was the Tar Heel defense. But their defense has been truly outstanding since they lost back-to-back to, -back to UConn and Kentucky. Adams, shot clock winding down. KJ can't hit. But Kansas cannot get a clean look in the half court. That's why Kansas State can't turn it over. Kaluma looking for some help. Fights Carter with McCuller on him. McNair going to work inside. Good hand by McCuller, and they're going to end up getting Cam Carter on that foul. Just the fourth team foul. That's where McNair, where he's got one-on-one -on -one in the post. Brown did a nice job of pushing him out, not letting him get to that left shoulder. Self calling out the play right now for Kansas. They got to get some movement and something going toward the basket where they can draw help and play out of it. Tied at 30 here in the first half. Harris gets into the paint off the glass. 
And Harris went down hard, but he is fouled. And they get that foul on McNair. It'll be two shots. So much of that move was made from the reversal. When the ball was reversed from the right side of the floor to the left, that allowed DeWan Harris to turn the corner. And he just went right into the body. I'm not sure where they, they gave that to McNair. They did. Yeah, because Kaluma, that was a vertical contest. Dewan Harris has had such a great career at Kansas. Maybe the best defender he and Kevin McCullough since Marcus Garrett was a Jayhawk. He was the Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. A kid who had originally signed with Missouri State. Step back. And that one off the mark from Ames. That 11 second differential shot clock and game clock. Harris has it as they spread it out. And they turn it over. Carter lost a handle. Perry fires. Brown rebounds. Took that too early. Adams. And the left handed shot from McCuller wouldn't fall. Out of bounds, K-State basketball. Wow. Well, Kansas had another great opportunity at the rim. I thought Kansas State shot that ball way too early and gave Kansas a run out, but McCuller couldn't finish it with that left hand. The turnover by Kansas where... Harris, I think he hit McCuller in the face with the pass, and then Kevin McCuller not able to, to hit. Baseball pass, McNair. And that shot short. And the first half comes to a close with Kansas leading it by two. Coming to brought to you by Target. As we get ready for second half action, let's send it over to Chris Butt. Talking to me at halftime, really pleased with the poise and the grit that his team has played with. That's been the thing that he's been frustrated with, and it hasn't sustained an entire 40 minutes. He said defensively, we got to keep Kansas out of the paint and let their non-shooters force them to shoot. Kansas basketball to open up the second half. Furphy has been quiet. Furphy from the corner. And a freshman off the mark. There's that short roll where Adams is such a good passer. It looked like a walk before that. Offensive foul on Kaluma. And not surprisingly, it was Juan Harris drawing that offensive foul. He is such a smart defender. Not only a good athlete and capable athletically, but it's his mind that is next level. Harris probing, feeds Dickinson, who flips it in. Well, he had K.J. Adams on the right, Hunter Dickinson on the left, and made the right decision. The more Hunter Dickinson touches the ball in the paint, the better things will be for Kansas in the second half. Harris, who leads the Big 12 in assists, averaging just a shade under seven a game. Colbert. And Kansas the other way, Furphy down the other end. Bramlage Coliseum here in Manhattan, Kansas. The octagon of doom last year was just that for the Jayhawks as they lost in overtime. A color buries a big three. And the lead is seven, largest lead of the night for the Jayhawks. That was Nash esque by Dewan Harris. Basically jumping out of bounds to get that angle, keeping his dribble on that right hand drive and finding the color. And boy, how much has Kevin McCuller improved with his perimeter shooting? Perry not able to answer. Harris has it. Harris to McCuller. Lob Murphy puts it home. And Kansas State trying to keep that ball alive and knock it to a teammate. But what they really did was start the Kansas break. 
A three on one. What a beautiful pass to Murphy for that finish. 39-30, biggest lead of the night for the Jayhawks. Side to McCuller, just lobs it up to Murphy in that three on one break. After Kansas State tried to knock the ball out toward half court so a teammate could pick it up, that really started the Kansas break. But how about DeWan Harris? He has joined Aaron Miles, Kirk Heinrich, and Darnell Valentine with 600 career assists and 200 career steals. He's just had a remarkable career for the Jayhawks. Harris, they list him at 6'2. He's got that 6'6 wingspan that really impacts things on the defensive end. Shot clock under 10. Gasson. Harris fighting for it. And they go possession arrow. It belongs to K State. And those are the kind of near turnovers. We lost the arrow over it, but that could have gone the other way. You know, bounce pass to McNair as he's rolling to the basket. It's just a tough catch for him to make if it's any anywhere behind him. 1.7 on the shot clock. Kaluma to inbound. McNair catches, and that rattles out. And then Adams and Gasson get tied up. The four-on-four four game for a minute. Dickinson spinning, left hand, wouldn't go, put back does. A nice little up and under move to get back to that left hand. And he was just quicker to the ball on the miss. But the more Hunter Dickinson touches the ball in the paint, the better it is for Kansas, the more difficult it'll be for Kansas State's defense. Well, they get the foul. Uh, Harris reaching from behind. Nice play run just to get that shot off, but KJ Adams just runs Kassan, runs them both out of bounds. Their feet got tangled up. Takes a lot to take him down. Every day is leg day for KJ Adams, right? Uh, Jerome Tang trying to get in the ear of one of the officials saying Camp Carter's getting held off that screen. Kaluma, the scoop off the window for two. Anytime he drives, he has such long strides. He can slow himself down with those long strides and still get to the basket. He can also Euro step off that. Two-man game, Adams and McCuller, and that one wouldn't go for Adams. Tyler Perry needs to get untracked in this second half. He's a second-half scorer. As if on cue, Perry had 19 on Saturday, all 19 in the second half. I can't recall a player... And a, a big time scorer. And Perry has scored over 2,000 points in his career, transferred in from North Texas, where he said 73% of his points come in the second half. It's crazy. How did that not go in? Halfway down and out, Kansas by six. Can't go under. And Perry able to knock it down. Anytime you go under a screen, he's shooting behind it. And he is smaller. You have to stay with him. But if he drives to the basket, you have help to bother. K-State with an 8-0 run. And they're within three. Tyler Perry averaging 21 points a game over his last two. Well, this is a great building for basketball. I mean, you can feel the crowd when Kansas State gets on a run. Harris to inbound. Gasson guarding. Lob. And Adams had a great look at it. He was just a little short. Couldn't convert. Well, you can hardly ever see Kansas miss those. Carter and one, he'll go to the line.
Sam Carter is a three-level scorer. He turns down that ball screen set by Colbert and gets right into the hip of Johnny Furphy, knocks him back, and gets the bucket. The three-level scorer, he can do it off the drive. He's got an excellent mid-range game and a good three-point shooter. I think he's a better shooter than his numbers indicate this season, 32% from three, but he's a much better shooter than that. We are all tied up, and the crowd has come to life. Dickinson gets blocked. A great help by Gasson. Carter wide open. That one off. And McCuller able to check it down. Carter knew he missed it right away. As soon as he hit the deck, he was going for it. Adams off the McCuller feed. That ends an 11-0 K-State run. Kansas retakes the lead. KJ Adams is so good in that action. Whether it's a short roll or just the pop to that short roll area. That little push shot he has is so accurate. Good pass. <laughs> Died in the stuff for Gasson. Dickinson. And that rims out. That's one for his last 16 from three. Carter's three wouldn't fall. I don't know why you take that. Didn't make the Kansas defense do anything. Just launched up that shot with a little late pressure, and that started a Kansas break. Almost necessitated the foul by Carter. Foul on Carter, his second. Tied up 43 apiece. Kansas so good at executing and out of bounds underneath, but now they're going to get it on the side. The foul was committed just above the free throw line. Colors jumper from the free throw line. That one fall. A really good job by McNair to block out Dickinson, keep that ball alive, so Dickinson couldn't get it. Maluma being harassed. Dickinson steals it away. McCuller puts his head down. And he gets fouled. Kevin McCuller will go to the line and shoot two. Well, what a poor pass by Arthur Kaluma. K.J. Adams did a fantastic job in help defense of stopping him turning the corner. But Kaluma would have been better off getting a five-second call. At least he played five-on-five five then. But there was no way that pass was going to reach his destination. The color at the line. He leads the Big 12 in free throws made and attempted. Missing the first. NBA Wednesday on ESPN. 730 Eastern Warriors and Sixers. Can Eastern Pelicans and Clippers NBA countdown tips off tonight at 7 Eastern. And McCuller misses them both. Now, Boop, this is an interesting mindset game for Kansas. They come off a great win against an outstanding Houston team in Allen Fieldhouse. And on Saturday, they play Baylor. And this game sandwiched in between. And We've seen how difficult it is to win on the road in this league. But talk about having to dig deep to come into Manhattan and try to get this win. Gasson steps through. Dickinson pulls down the rebound. And Dickinson rolls it home. They know he's going to try to get back to that right shoulder, and he's just got such a size advantage. Not a height advantage, but he's stronger than Gasson in that low post. And one-on-one -on -one in the post is the toughest thing to guard in basketball, in my view. A double drag up top for Kansas State. Perry being guarded by McCullough. That's a lot of size to have to go against. Look there, shot clock's under 10. Carter blows past Jackson off the glass and he's fouled. 
Carter will shoot two when we come back. Kansas by that many. South Carolina on ESPN. Big time matchups are on a blockbuster Saturday and Sunday. All right, Jay Billis should be there for Baylor and Kansas. What do you expect? I expect Allen Fieldhouse to be lit. I mean, that is the best venue in all of college basketball. Good popcorn, too. All right. It's not quite the ice cream you get at Rupp, but it's good. <laughs> Last Saturday against Houston, about as loud as I've heard any building. 45 apiece. I like that little one, two, two, three quarter court press. It took some time off the clock. You have to guard for less time in the front court. McCullough can't hit. It's Carter. And now Perry and they'll set it up. Arthur Kaluma needs to be aggressive here. Here's Kaluma. He shoots. Color pulls down the rebound. Kevin McCullough, excellent rebound. Full head of steam. That's that's good basket. Score oh, the goal. It. Yeah, they called it. Yep. When I said Kaluma needs to be aggressive, I wasn't thinking just pull up for a three, but get to the rim. It was a good contest, but the ball hit the backboard. Color the deuce and Kansas by two. 11 to go here in the second half. Oh. The turnover. Ninth turnover on Kansas State. Hunter Dickinson checking back in, and Jerome Tang spent a good portion of that last time out talking to his team about how to defend him. He said, we can't allow him just to stand there and post up underneath the bucket. If we're doing that, we're not doing our job. We have to be able to keep his feet moving. Well, one of the problems, a little zone right now, 1-3-1 one, one for Kansas State. Well, one of the problems there, Chris, is when Kansas reverses the ball, you can get caught on one side or the other because he's so good at sealing. You really have to have great pressure on the ball to take away vision for the passer to see in. Carter over Dickinson and puts it in. But how about that with the left hand going away from the basket to nail that shot off the glass? That's big time by Cam Carter. <laughs> we're right again. Yep. We were right again. Right again. Take that, Internet. <laughs> 47 apiece as we close in on 10 to go here from Bramlage Coliseum. John Chomby, Jay Billis, Chris Button. Sunflower showdown, McCullough gets inside and he draws the foul. It's good action side to side to get Kevin McCullough turning the corner and getting to the basket. And they move the defense and then they attack it. And that's always been the case under Bill Self. He puts you in help, and then they attack the help. And I don't think, wow. Well, Kansas, that's, is that three misses in a row now for McCullough? Yep. yep. Kansas, there's so many coaches do a great job, and nobody does a better job of getting his team a shot than Bill Self. McCuller knocks that one down. The Big 12's leading score with 13 in the game. Murphy knocked that one off of Perry. It'll be Kansas ball. Well, KJ Adams wasn't even really guarding Gasson. And then helped out on Tyler Perry. Perry had Gasson open, but just couldn't complete the pass. And just needs to get the ball in the middle and on the baseline against this zone defense. There's the middle. Dickinson jump. Got it. How good is his touch? Such a good passer. And Gasson 
draws the bump. Hunter Dickinson, it's not easy to operate in the middle of his own. And Dickinson catches it, surveys it, and knocks down that left-handed jumper. He's got a great field to score. Kansas by three, Carter swings McNair. Kansas State just not getting much movement offensively, and that allows Kansas to load up their help side defense. Pass deflected, Murphy went after it, and I think they got Kaluma on the foul, knocking the freshman to the floor. They did. Well, that's not a bad foul after the turnover, because it keeps Kansas from getting a run out and an easy basket in transition. But just these are the kind of plays that have hurt Kansas State throughout this four-game slide they're on. You know, that's just a mishandling of the ball, just not a very good pass. 50-47. One of the things these teams share in common, the three is not a big part of either team's MO. Kansas shoots and makes the fewest in the league, and Kansas State the lowest percentage in the league. Well, Kansas does such a great job from two. You know the top field goal percentage team in the Big 12 in the top two in the country largely because they moved the ball and attacked the basket Ames almost came up with a conversion Day Day will go to the line he'll shoot two a foul on Murphy that's his third that's an area where Kansas State can attack in that slot area more middle of the floor action because it helps it eliminates help defense it's really hard to help when the ball's in the middle of the floor in that slot area between the lane lines James not able to convert on the first free throw. J.D. Ames, the freshman from Chicago. He's pretty good guard from Chicago more than a decade ago. Jacob Pullen. What a great player, Jacob Pullen. He's still playing overseas. Yeah, playing in Italy. You have to think they're going to look inside the Dickinson. I think they just got Dede Ames on a foul. That's his first team foul number six. Kansas with five team fouls. I always want to watch K.J. Adams getting to the rim. Dickinson a three. Carter had it knocked away off his leg out of bounds. Kansas ball. A great play by Dewan Harris. McNair had Hunter Dickinson screened out with that early post. And that should have been an easy layup, but a fantastic job reaching around the body with that left hand to knock it away and force the turnover. There are those long arms we told you about from Dewan Harris Jr. Long arms and precise timing and hands. High low action. Adams off the feed and not able to convert. They consider the good pass that time. KJ Adams just couldn't finish. McNair absorbing the contact in the shot block. Kansas by two, under seven and a half to go. Dickinson almost got it with the tip. Instead, it bounces off. K-State basketball, a chance to take the lead with a three. Well, the Wildcats have worked so hard to limit what Kansas can complete around the basket. So far, it's been advantage Kansas State. Good hands by Dickinson. Remember, this matchup went to overtime last year here in Manhattan, and K-State won it. And a high-arching shot out of bounds from Perry. Timeout on the court, and we will take it with him.
The number four team in the country in a dogfight on the road up to. Kansas with the ball up by two. Kansas making a couple lineup changes. Parker Brown into the game for Hunter Dickinson trying to get the big guy a little bit of rest. State's done a good job on Perfy. Harris off the glass and in. Really good patience by Kansas to run their offense. That was basically the third side of the floor. And you move the ball side to side to side, so you're going to get a breakdown. Rasad inside and the foul on KJ Adams. And that'll be his third. And Hunter Dickinson will check in for Parker Brown. Now Kansas State, over the last four games, really hasn't gotten a, including this one, hasn't got a clean look and out of bounds underneath. And they get trapped in the corner. Small guy, two guys on him. Tyler Perry catching in the corner. There's nowhere to go. Wow. That was a cylinder foul. So they're saying that Hunter Dickinson's crowding him in the cylinder. It's a tough one for Kansas. So Dickinson, Perfy, and Adams all with three. Yeah, the guy next to, did you see him next to Bill Sullivan? No. Is you? Oh, me? Yeah. That makes him look even better. <laughs> now, I don't know about that. That was a tough call yes. for Hunter Dickinson. That, that looked like a good trap. Kansas State's just found it difficult to run their out-of-bounds underneath to get a shot. They're just trying to get it in. Perry knocks it down. He's been... Their Warriors at all 20 minutes first half. Tyler Perry leads the league at 36 minutes a game. Perfy. Great look at it. Kaluma to Gasson out of bounds. And it'll stay with Kansas State. And the St. Juan Harris got a, a hand on it. He's, he's twirling his finger saying, look at it. Not quite, not quite there yet. Yeah, he oh. never touched it. Never touched it. That's a break for Kansas State. But KJ Adams set just a fantastic screen to free up Furphy on the other end. Kaluma gathers it in. And the contact. Did they get Adams? If yes. they did, that's his fourth. That's where, that's where those long strides and sort of the slower drive to the basket was a benefit to Kaluma. Shot fake, got McCullough off his feet. And then went into the body of Adams. Adams saying, hey, I was straight up and down. I mean, what do you want me to do? So four on Adams. Bears watching. Two-point game. Kaluma at the line. something here, maybe a wide pin down for Kevin McCuller. Bringing the noise at Bramlage. McCuller looking for some help. Had it rejected. Well, Kansas State really protects the rim well. A good shot blocking team, even better than last year. They already have more block shots this year than all of last year. Perry. Hit. And he'll shoot three. 
That just was not a good foul by Dewan Harris. You want to put some late pressure, he was trailing it. But the official saying he caught him on the head as he was putting it up. Three free throws for Tyler Perry, who's a 91% free throw shooter. This report is specifically for Boog Shambi, my shoe guy. Oh. We got jokers on both sides. One side's on the card. The other side is the joker from Batman. I asked him why. He said, because it's my favorite villain. Well, there you go. I would put the Joker up there with my favorite villain, but I'm more of a Cesar Romero Joker. Back in the old Batman TV show. Absolutely. He's a good villain for a big guy. <laughs> K-State by three. Dickinson gathers it back in and puts it off the glass and in. Boy, just a beautiful pass by Kevin McCullough. He curled right off of Hunter Dickinson, then threw it over the top to him. Terry weaving through traffic. And Cam Carter knocks it down. If they want to win this game on the road, because Kansas State has done a really good job in the second half of getting to the foul line. 11 of 12 in the second half for the Wildcats from the free throw line. Kansas just one of four. And keep teams off the foul line has been a real emphasis for Kansas State. Inside, McCuller missed. Dickinson's tip wouldn't fall, but he's fouled. And Hunter Dickinson will go to the line and shoot two. Scott Van Pelt mentioned in the Super Bowl, maybe the only thing that Kansas State and Kansas fans agree upon right now is the Chiefs. Yeah. Got it. Knocks down the first. Dickinson, the Michigan transfer, the second leading scorer in the league. And second leading scorer on his team, <laughs> Kevin McCuller. McCuller and Dickinson, the top scoring duo in the Bill Self era, is they average a shade under 39 points a game. That's together. And it's really amazing. The Big Four for Kansas, each of them leads the Big 12 in a category. Ron Harris leads in assists, McCuller in scoring, Dickinson in rebounding, and KJ Adams in field goal percentage. That is remarkable. Ball. Carter picks it up, lost the handle. Now Perry give off Colbert. And Dickinson with a crucial rebound. Kansas with the ball down two. Just a lot of mishandling of the ball out there for Kansas State. It resulted in a shot. And I'm not even sure that Colbert had control of that ball when he let it go. Feed inside Dickinson. Lost the handle, had it knocked away. Brought it down. Tyler Perry was right there to take it. Kaluma. And that missed everything out of bounds. K State basketball. Hunter Dickinson got a really good pass that was leading him into his move, but when he brought the ball down, that allowed Tyler Perry to knock it away with that right hand. K-State to inbound on the baseline underneath. Kaluma. Well, they catch it right there. It's an automatic trap. Hassan gets into the paint. Kicks out Carter. Carter's pull up when Gregg hit does. And it was Kaluma. What a great shot fake and drive by Cam Carter. to Adams who buries that one. He is just money on that short roll. Money. 
That's double figures now for K.J. Adams. He's got 11 points. He's got four steals in this game. That's a career high. Pass off the glass. McCullough, they got numbers. Harris up ahead. Off the window and in. And Harris with the bucket, and we are tied up at 60 apiece. That pass by Coloma. They hit the backboard. That pass started the fast break for Kansas and a fantastic finish by DeWan Harris using the other side of the rim. 13th tie. We've had eight lead changes. Under two to go here. This battle of the Big 12. And there's a steal by Harris. Over to McCuller. Puts it home. And Kansas has the lead. Turnovers are killing Kansas State. The points off turnovers, you talk about a difference in the game. That has been the difference in this game. Back in 30 seconds, Jayhawks on top. But they're down a bucket with a minute 36 to go in regulation. And this is a gut check for Kansas State playing at home with an opportunity to beat the number four team in the country and turn things around. Closing it on 90 seconds to go. Good fade. Perry gets inside, almost lost it. McNair. Oh, and I think Dickinson tipped it in. Well, Tyler Perry was right there, so he's going to get the tip in. 5-11 going after that ball. Sixty-two apiece here at Bramlage. A step up screen by Hunter Dickinson. Kaluma takes it away. Gave him a timeout. Timeout, Kansas State. We'll keep it here. Forty-nine point three to go. Take a look at that last. Kansas State at that timeout, I'm sure they were talking about use a pass fake because Kansas has been getting their hands on a lot of Kansas State passes over the last several minutes. Kaluma gives off Perry. Shot clock winding down. Now it's under 10. Perry has it. Gasson, kick out, Carter. Got a piece of it. Inside, Kaluma! And he puts it home! Timeout, Kansas! Kaluma, right place, right time. The great transfer comes up with a huge bucket. Downhill. But oftentimes, you'll see him run a little fade in the corner. It could also be a lob. K.J. Adams is always a lob threat in these situations. Ball in the capable hands of Dewan Harris. He to Adams and the flush. It's a simple middle ball screen in the middle of the floor. No help was there. Now Kansas State with a chance to win it. Perry probing, looking, off-balance shot. McCuller heaves it. And we're going overtime for the second straight year the Sunflower Showdown here in Manhattan. Goes to an extra five. 64 apiece. End of regulation. 64 apiece. The last time Kansas went to overtime a year ago right here at K-State and they lost. Kansas basketball, 64 apiece into the extra session. Good job by Arthur Columa to ice that side action and keep it there. Adams, Dickinson, his shot wouldn't fall. Murphy goes over the back and is called for the foul. 
Goes over the top of Coloma. Actually, it wasn't Coloma. It was Carter. Four on Furphy. Now remember, Adams has four, Dickinson with three. So foul trouble is an issue for Bill Self's group. Carter at the line. Cam Carter, 83% this year. And short with the first. The free throw line for Kansas State did a good bit of the damage in the second half. Overall, 12 of 19 from the line for Jerome Tang's group. K-State a one-point advantage. Keep some blood on Hunter Dickinson. They're gonna might not be his. He averages a double double. And he's got 13 of them this year. 44th career double double. Just a workhorse. Kansas down a point. Harris using Adams. And now the toss out to Furphy. Flips it up and in. DeWan Harris gives Kansas the lead. Well, he just put the brakes on on that drive in the middle of the lane. It looked like he was going to have to take that on the run. So steady, such a good decision maker. Well, the color doing a great job chasing around Tyler Perry. That size on him is really going to be difficult to get a good shot off. with the shot clock winding down a little bit strong out of bounds Kansas basketball good job by Johnny Furphy to force that fade away when he's trying to back him down but watch how watch how he stops on the dime right here and goes up in the middle of the lane rather than his momentum taking him away from the basket seemingly always under control to Juan Harris Kansas with the ball up by a point. Well, they were looking inside the Dickinson, but Coloma with his length putting good pressure on McCullough. McCullough jumper, a little bit strong. Dickinson rebound, put back wouldn't go. Bill Self asking for a foul, saying there was contact there. 66-65. And it's been a great atmosphere inside the Octagon of Doom here tonight. Perry now with Furphy on him. McNair looking for some space. Gotta shoot. Perry. Oh! What a shot! Tyler Perry spins it home. How did he make that? At the basket, Furphy shot blocked. Adams shot clock winding down. The color. Kansas State with the rebound. So Tyler Perry got taken out by a screen by Hunter Dickinson. Just taken out. Averages the double double. And he's got 13 of them this year. 44th career double double. Just a workhorse. Kansas down a point. Harris using Adams. And now the toss out to Furphy. Flips it up and in. DeWan Harris gives Kansas the lead. Well, he just put the brakes on on that drive in the middle of the lane. It looked like he was going to have to take that on the run. So steady, such a good decision maker. Well, the color doing a great job chasing around Tyler Perry. That size on him is really going to be difficult to get a good shot off. The 
We'll move with the shot clock winding down. A little bit strong. Out of bounds, Kansas basketball. Good job by Johnny Furphy to force that fade away. When he's trying to back him down. But watch how, watch how he stops on a dime right here and goes up in the middle of the lane rather than his momentum taking him away from the basket. Seemingly always under control, DeWan Harris. Kansas with the ball, up by a point. Well, they were looking inside to Dickinson, but Coloma with his length putting good pressure on McCullough. McCullough, jumper, a little bit strong. Dickinson rebound, put back, wouldn't go. Phil Self asking for a foul, saying there was contact there. 66-65. And it's been a great atmosphere inside the Octagon of Doom here tonight. Perry now with Furphy on him. McNair looking for some space. Gotta shoot. Perry. Oh! What a shot! Tyler Perry spins it home! How did he make that? Harris at the basket. Murphy, shot blocked. Adams, shot clock winding down. McCuller. Kansas State with the rebound. But Tyler Perry got taken out by a screen by Hunter Dickinson. Just taken out. By the game and essentially send it to overtime. But I wouldn't be surprised to see him run something for a three here as well. Down by four. The zone now. Dickinson. Nice and easy as he flips that one in. And Dickinson now at 21. So good on those duck ins, getting right into the chest of the defender and then getting an angle to the basket. And the zone meant that there wasn't going to be a lot of pressure on the passer. Let's see if they get the foul on, on Dickinson. On uh, Dickinson, and that's his fourth. Tyler Perry came up to set a screen on Dickinson. A little on big screen, and Dickinson just ran him over. Watch this little step up so they could get McNair down in the low post, and Dickinson just plowed through him. Perry knocks it down. Tyler Perry... What a ball game for him. An elite level free throw shooter. He's been perfect from the stripe of this one. He's got 25, 20 of them since the break. Kevin McCullough stepped out of he bounds he when he caught on the that baseline. ball. Yep. He got a little fade screen. Watch Dickinson set the hat in the game going to overtime last year. It was K-State prevailing in OT. Kansas going to throw some full court pressure on Kansas State, a team that's had some issues with turnovers. Paloma gets it in. Oh! Kansas steals it. Harris had it blocked. Wow. And they got the foul. But that's Kansas State just not able to take care of the ball. Could have been turned over there. Then Perry must have, must have been thinking, I got to get this over for the 10 second call. What a turnaround. So here's Harris down. 
73% makes the first. Well, Jay, at the outset of our telecast, you talked about the key for Kansas State would be taking care of the basketball, and it's been an issue for them. 16 turnovers. And it's been the points off those turnovers that are killer. And they'd be better off just throwing the ball out of bounds. The live ball turnovers have been crushing. 20 points off turnovers for Kansas. Harris makes them both. It's a two-point game. And the Furphy's got four fouls. Hunter Dickinson back into the ball game. A little offense-defense switch, so he didn't pick up another foul. Cam Carter here with McCuller on him. Dickinson pops out. Kaluma looking for some help. Shot clock winding down. Carter steps back. McCuller rebound. Push oh. to the floor. Good wow. Yeah, McCuller will head to the other end. They get Kaluma with that foul? They did. It's not a smart foul. And that's his fourth. And a one and one spot down at the other end. Oh, that ball, that was on Gasson. Yeah. They just they just miscalled that. Didn't touch anybody. McCuller 83% on the season. Kansas, K.J. Adams has fouled out. Bill Self is frustrated. He bigger free throws than this this season. Two for two tonight in his career, 73%. The Creighton transfer from Glendale, Arizona, Arthur Kaluma. And this is the biggie to turn it into a two-possession game. And if he makes this, if I were Kansas State, I'd put some full-court pressure on Kansas just to try to slow the advance. And Nick Timberlake in the ball game for Kansas. Good three-point shooter. They've got Furphy that can shoot it. Got them both. K-State by four. Harris off the glass. Rebound, Kansas State. Perry is fouled. And the Wildcats looking to put the finishing touches. A Sunflower Showdown win. It has been a gutsy second half performance but especially the overtime <laughs> Jerome Kang's group last year in overtime it was Keontae Johnson with under 25 seconds left the big bucket K-State was down by as many as 11 in the second half. Uh, Perry not able to hit that one. Another Dickinson who fouled out. The numbers seem to prove it, especially for top 10 teams going against unranked teams. We've never seen anything like this. Jamari McDowell inbounds. Fires one up. Off the mark. And Kansas State knocks off Kansas in Manhattan for the second straight year.